choose to elect me to the position of Councillor for the Town of Morinville. First, I'd like to take a moment to thank Jay and Sheldon and the members of the Chamber's Executive Committee for hosting this forum and for all the work they do, not only for this event, but all the program and services that the Chamber offers. As a small business owner and a Chamber member, I really appreciate the support the Chamber has given to our business community. I grew up in a small town in southern Alberta, and the life that a small community has to offer has always been an important part of the plan that my husband and I had for our family. I'm the owner of a small local business, and my parents have always been small business owners, so I have experience firsthand with the struggles that local businesses are facing. The problems my parents experienced years ago are still relevant today. The need to revitalize decaying downtowns, increasing commercial and business investment, and development within the town, and the need to encourage residents to shop locally. Mournville needs our town council to make more proactive decisions rather than reacting to our ever-changing economic and social world. They need to have the vision to look to the future while having a focus on improving our quality of life today. We need our citizens to be more engaged in the community. I plan to open up dialogues start discussions on issues and to let people become a part of the process. Helping people to invest in their community with their input and time will help them become stronger and more productive citizens and will help our community to become a stronger and more productive town. I hope to become a part of a new town council, one that focuses on putting people first. We need to look at photo radar not with a focus on income but as an important safety tool. We need to become stronger advocates for our community with our neighbours and with the government of Alberta. Specifically when it comes to resolving safety issues like the Highway 2 and Cardiff Road interchange. Warrenville needs to start understanding that if they plan on being the family choice, they need to be increased programming and services for children and families. Each area and community within Warrenville has its own unique challenges and issues. The business community is no different. Town Council needs to focus on creating an economic development plan, and this should be one of the top priorities for 2011. I have the education and experience to be able to hit the ground running. To enter into this position with a focus on governance. The time I have spent working in the nonprofit sector has allowed me to develop strong skills in financial management, budgeting, and policy creation. But more importantly, the work I've done within Warrenville, through my business or with the community groups, has shown me what is important to the people of our town, what families need, and what their vision for Warrenville includes. I hope to be a voice for them and for their hopes and goals for the town. I pledge to be an active, engaged, and accessible member of Town Council, and I thank you for giving me the time to help you consider voting for me to be leader of this community and a voice for you. Thank you. Fellow candidates, first I'd like to thank the Chamber for this opportunity of giving us today. Morville has experienced unprecedented growth in the past few years and has seen many changes in all areas of making Morville a respected community in the capital region. Morville is in a good situation with well-maintained infrastructure and a solid financial position, the envy of many of our neighbours. The future is bright and exciting as we move into a new era in the region. Morinville is at the forefront, Morinville is a leader, and Morinville is at the table as the path is laid for the capital region. We need to develop an intermunicipal development plan, a development plan that meets the needs of Morinville and our neighbours, incorporating annexation, controlled residential, commercial, industrial development, infrastructure, and shared resources. We need to talk about cost-sharing formulas for recreation, culture, social, transportation, protective services, and a few. One area I know which needs great attention is our relationship that we have with our neighbour that surrounds our community. We do have some solid agreements, but there are areas where we struggle to have consensus, especially with water, recreation, and economic development. With continuity and frank discussion, we can make strides to concrete, firm, and sustainable agreements, creating a win-win situation for the good of our communities. Taxes are certainly an area to consider, keeping our property tax comparative to the region, and also working on a split between commercial and residential taxes by seeking opportunities and partnerships to attract the needed commercial sector to our community. Economic development plays a role in this area. But short of that, we need to work on a solid economic development strategy with the help of experts done quickly but effectively with immediate implementation. We could look at successes in other municipalities, large or small, and incorporate those that would work for us. I also think that a regional economic plan would be a benefit to Morinville. There needs to be dialogue with councils, business, industry, consumers, and our neighbours. As our community continues to grow, I have some thoughts and ideas on affordable housing, youth, and our trail system, as well as the realization that the way things are done become different through necessity, and sometimes change is hard to accept. But through conversations, reviews, and updates to policies and procedures, the transition to the new way becomes more acceptable. The direction comes more understandable, and that is certainly an area where I'd like to work on. Being a municipal elected official is certainly a privilege which I greatly respect and it comes with the responsibility of making decisions which are for the benefit of the community, creating a safe and sustainable place to live, a place to raise a family, a place to be proud of and a place to call home. I feel that I still have a lot to offer and wish to continue being a strong voice for Morinville locally and provincially. 
on October 18th, both Paul Kuskoff, Building the Future Together, and I thank you very much. Good afternoon. I'd like to welcome everyone here today and thank Chambers, excuse me, for giving all the candidates an opportunity to present their platform. Over the last few weeks of my campaign, I've been asked by many, many individuals, why are you running for town council? My response, I believe it is time for a change. I can no longer stand by on the sidelines and talk about what I would do if I were on council. Instead, I want to stand up and take part in something I believe in. It's time for Mornville to live excuse me, up to its potential as a sustainable community. A huge part of this is attracting and expanding businesses in Mornville. But in order for us to achieve this, we need to take some drastic changes as soon as possible. These changes may include revamping the existing land use bylaws, municipal development plan, and most importantly, ensuring everyone in the business, excuse me, business community is treated equally. Simply put, no more backdoor deals. I've heard from several business owners in town about the headaches and red tape associated with development and expansion. It seems as though planning and development is putting up roadblocks instead of promoting more business traffic. In some extreme cases, business owners in Mornville have actually taken the town to court, and I'm happy to say that they've won. But wouldn't our taxpayer dollars be better spent attracting new businesses and maintaining existing businesses, as opposed to potentially driving them away? As far as attracting new businesses to Mournville, I envision Town Council taking a very proactive approach. Council needs to communicate more effectively with the Planning Development Department, local businesses, and residents. However, the biggest opti op sorry, obstacle I see is getting people on all sides to look beyond the status quo. As I've said before, change is needed, but it is never easy. And fortunately, not everyone accepts change willingly. Stepping outside the comfort zone can often cause growing pains. As a community, we need to look beyond the immediate horizon and envision where we want to see Mournville in the future. What do we want to happen in the next few years will dramatically impact the journey our town will take. Everyone has a role to play, and I hope to be part of it. Thank you for your time.